Welcome. In this video, you'll learn what causes null pointer exceptions and how to fix them. Null pointer exceptions only happen with object types, so we won't be looking at any primitive data types in this example. Take a look at this class, canine. It's got a method kennel in it. Now, let's declare and initialize a dog variable. This line of code did three things. First, it created a variable called Sunny on the stack. Second, it created a new dog object on the heap. Third, it made Sunny point at the new object. Sunny is ready to go and won't cause a null pointer exception. Now let's create another variable. Here we declared a variable, Barney, but we left it uninitialized. Barney doesn't have a value. Let's create one final variable. Here we declared a variable buddy and initialized it to null. Basically, buddy has a pointer, but it isn't pointing at an object. Now, let's see what happens when we try to call a non-static method from these three variables. Everything here will work as intended. The bark method will run. Here, the Java compiler will see that Barney was never initialized. It will give an error before the program even runs. This is called a compile time error because the error happens while the program is compiling. The program doesn't start to run until the compiling is done. The buddy variable has been initialized to null. There is a pointer, but it isn't pointing at an object. The compiler will let this pass because Buddy does have a value. The program will begin to run. The JVM will follow Buddy's pointer and find there isn't an object there. It will cause a null pointer exception and crash. A null pointer exception is a runtime error. That means it occurs while the program is running. It's unusual to get a null pointer exception when you have explicitly set a variable to null like with Buddy. Let's look at some cases where you might have a variable set to null without realizing it. Here, we have declared a field variable major of type dog and left it uninitialized. An uninitialized field of an object type will automatically be initialized to null. Contrast that with a local variable of an object type, like Barney, which will remain uninitialized. Now, let's make an array of dog. Here, we have declared a variable pack as an array of dog. We've also initialized pack to point at a new array object. While the packed variable is pointing at an object, when you create an array of an object type, each index is, by default, initialized to null. If we wrote pack index 0 dot bark, the JVM will follow the pack pointer to the array object. It will look inside index 0 and follow that pointer looking for a dog object. Not finding an object will cause a null pointer exception and crash. To fix this, we could individually set each index to point at a new dog object. Now, this line of code will run without error. We would still want to deal with index 1, 2, and 3. If you want to learn more about how data is stored in memory, click on the next video. Otherwise, check out the playlist for a variety of Java tutorials.